It's the million dollar question, or in some cases, the billion dollar question. What will you do if you win the lottery? Lottery jackpots often get to be hundreds of millions and sometimes over a billion. Whether you play Mega Millions, Powerball, Euro Millions, or any other lottery, if you win, your world could be turned on its head in an instant. So what will you do if you win? If you are new to this channel, my name is Timothy Schultz. This actually happened to me in 1999. I won a Powerball jackpot in the USA before going back to college to study journalism, broadcast news, and work on various productions. But I am now launching this YouTube channel and this podcast where I am meeting and interviewing other lottery winners and people who have overcome the odds in various ways in life. If you want to watch any of these interviews with other lottery winners, I will put a link to it in the description of this video. I will also put one of them right here. But the question addressed in this video is what will you do if you win? Because it does happen to people. No matter how astronomical the odds, it is possible. Always play responsibly, but it is possible. And if it does happen to you, what will you do? Comment below this video with your thoughts. But from my experience, here are five tips of what I think you should do if you win the lottery. Tip number one, put the ticket someplace secure. If you are holding a physical ticket worth millions, that is a huge liability. Do not just carry it around. Put it someplace secure, such as a safety deposit box. I have actually met and interviewed people that have placed the ticket under their mattress, in pillowcases, even in their kitchen cabinet. But if you are holding a physical ticket, be very careful with the ticket. And it also could be a good idea to take a picture of it to document the fact that you have the ticket. Tip number two, get your ducks in a row. If you win millions from the lottery, I suggest contacting attorneys and financial advisors before you turn in the ticket. And I know a lot of people say this, but it is very important because the average lottery winner that wins tens of millions or hundreds of millions or a billion does not know what to do with that sort of money unless you have that background, that education. So seek the help of people that have been doing it for years and years and years with that exact situation. They don't necessarily need to have dealt with lottery winners before, but they should have the experience of dealing with that kind of wealth with other clients, people that are trustworthy and they are highly experienced. I made a video about how to find a financial advisor. I will put a link to that video right here. Different countries, different states in the United States have different rules of whether and how you can claim prizes anonymously as well if that is something that you wish to do understand the rules, have some people helping you behind the scenes before you even turn in the ticket. Tip number three, celebrate. You have just won the lottery. What are you going to do? What is the first thing you are going to do? Because it could be a question that you are faced with in a sudden and surreal reality. Of course, you need to understand how much you can afford to spend after speaking with financial advisors if you want to be financially responsible. But once you understand that, what are you going to do? Are you going to purchase a new car, a new house? For me, the first thing that I purchased after winning the lottery at the age of 21 was the latest, greatest video game system because it's something I couldn't afford before that. So for me, it was a really big deal. Tip number four, and I think this is an underestimated tip that a lot of people do not tell you, take care of your mental health. Winning the lottery can be one of the most exhilarating euphoric, crazy things that can possibly happen to a person, and it does happen to people. But once the exhilaration, once the adrenaline, once it all wears off, then you come to a new, what I like to call a new baseline. And for some people, not all winners experience this, 
But for me, I believe I experienced something known as sudden wealth syndrome, which is a psychological term. And I just felt instantly like an outlier because I won the lottery, but my peers, my family, the people around me did not necessarily win the lottery. For example, if I wanted to go on vacation to celebrate the win, I had to pay for everybody else. And sure, that's okay right after you win the lottery, but everyone, practically everyone around me in my circle at that time was not in that monetary bracket. And so for me, I felt like an outlier. And at some point, I even felt guilty for having won the lottery because I couldn't help everyone in the world that I cared and loved if I wanted to be financially responsible. I did a lot of things to help people, but I also wanted to live within a means. And I actually had some relationships with family that were actually strained from even winning the lottery. Because while most people were very supportive, some people view it as Well, this person got very lucky and won the lottery, but they didn't earn it. They did not earn it like a CEO. They just won the money and got lucky. So why can't they give me money because I need money? That was the mentality. It's not the same level of respect for some people, but most people, luckily, thankfully, were very, very supportive. So my advice if you win the lottery is to celebrate, of course, but also to stay grounded. After all, if you win the lottery, it should be something positive. Make sure you surround yourself with people who support you and live your best life. And you don't need to win the lottery to pursue nor achieve your dreams. Almost everybody in the world who has achieved their dreams has not won the lottery, but it is possible to win. And if you do, one of the things that is important is to take care of your mental health. Tip number five in this video of what to do if you win the lottery, come on to this podcast. We can keep you anonymous if you wish. I meet and interview lottery winners on this channel all the time time and we can keep you anonymous we can blur your face we can disguise your voice we can make you sound like a robot and keep all sensitive information discreet but we want to hear from you come on to this podcast and tell us all about it remember if you play the lottery play responsibly never spend more than you can afford to lose but also remember that you do have a chance if you play if you like this video let youtube know and go ahead and smash the like button but let me know in the comments what will you do if and when you win the lottery i love checking out your comments if you have a story of overcoming the odds or anything that you want considered for this podcast go ahead and email my team the email address is in the description below Get notified when new podcast interviews and videos like this one are released on this channel by subscribing, hitting the bell icon, and enabling all notifications. As always, thank you so much for watching, and thank you, thank you for your support.